Keep up to it date. Is even Louise. Yeah, it's not good viewers. Louise have got some guinea pigs, but you know, they've got warm coats. Nothing too much to worry about. It's chilly out there at the moment, isn't it? It's quite grey as well. A bit of sunshine wouldn't go amiss, would it? But there's not a lot of that on offer, to be perfectly frank. The satellite picture shows a lot of clouds. There are some breaks out west, and this is where the best of the sunshine will continue to be through the rest of the afternoon. So, for some detail, through this afternoon, across the far southwest of England, principally Cornwall, we will see some sunshine here, fairly light winds, not helping with temperatures much at around five or six degrees, but it's dry, as it is for Wales as well. The best of the sunshine across the western fringes of Wales. Lovely afternoon for Northern Ireland, very little cloud here, again, light winds. Temperatures, at best, around three or four, so no heat wave. Uh, for northwest Scotland too, there'll be some sunshine lasting into the afternoon, but for most of Scotland, cloudy, the cloud thickest further east, maybe producing uh, the odd spot of drizzle. This is four o'clock, and that drizzly regime continues across northeastern parts of England, quite miserable here, and the odd spot of rain, or even sleet up over the high ground across parts of the Midlands, East Anglia, and the southeast. No great amounts, but it's there nonetheless. And that cloudy and at times a damp thing continues into the evening. Overnight, the clearest of the skies will be out west, parts of Western England, West Wales, Northern Ireland. The blues indicating a touch of frost here. A change across the north of Scotland, thickening cloud, bringing some uh, patchy light rain later on in the night. Temperatures on the rise here, but for most of us, another cold night to come. Despite some cloud, temperatures hovering close to freezing, so the risk of uh, one or two icy stretches first thing tomorrow morning. So Tuesday, what does it hold? Well, more cloud for most of us, I'm afraid, and we'll see that patchy rain trickling down across other parts of Scotland. Again, mostly quite light. And then a change through the afternoon. It will brighten up, we think, across East Anglia and the southeast. Some welcome sunshine after several gloomy days, but it won't help the temperatures much, I'm afraid, of anything colder than today. So just two or three for much of England and Wales. And the reason for that cold, well, we've got these uh, bitter winds still coming in off a frozen continent. There is uh, warmer air lying in wait, a little lozenge of yellow here, somewhat milder conditions. Uh, it'll try to topple its way southwards as we go through the middle of the week, bringing a bit of patchy rain, but it's half-hearted. Blink and you miss it. And then we get another resurgence of Arctic winds, so different direction, same old cold. And that brings the prospect of some snowfall perhaps later on in the week, and uh, certainly for all of us as we end the week, more widespread night frost, so don't get any warmer, not